Nothing is impossible when you're a child. A bit trickier when you're my age, but when you're a child. And that is why nine-year-old Ryan Nicholas is thinking about inventing a teleporter and a time machine. He's certainly got the credentials for it too. Ryan's just won this year's Let's Get Inventin', the TV show which turns children's inventions into reality. Ryan's invention is the Waste Away, a garbage disposal unit which turns household waste into compost. So impressive is the Waste Away, Ryan has just become the youngest New Zealander ever to receive a patent for his invention. My congratulations go to Ryan Nichols. This is where Ryan's story ends and starts all over again. This is the certificate that the patent office have given um, Ryan, which represents that the patent office have accepted the patent application, which is quite a milestone. Congratulations. <laughs> Let's rewind a moment, back to the very beginning, where Ryan's whirlwind ride began. Why do I have to take this out? It's my job, but I hate it. This was Ryan's audition tape for the kids' show Let's Get Inventing. This job, <laughs> this job needs to be done every day, and the weather isn't <laughs> always right. Enter the Waste Away. He described it as a dog that eats his rubbish and then poos out the compost, which is a kid's view of what it is. Basically, that's what it is. Or if we're looking for a more biologically correct metaphor... Cows have four stomachs. When the grass is broken down enough in one stomach, it gets sent through to the next one to decompose, and then on to the next one, and so on, until it makes poos. The environment is so ready for this, and why haven't any adults done it? It's taken an eight-year-old to think of it, which I thought was brilliant, so we had to make it on the show. The key thing to this invention is the insincorator that has a mulching mechanism that feeds a layered composting bin to produce perfect compost for the garden without leaving the house. Sounds impressive, but we need to see how this award-winning invention works. So it all goes down here, huh? It goes down here and it goes onto the invention. The invention is this colourful contraption underneath the kitchen window. Water comes, comes down here, and soon that's going to start going. And so, while this is all turning, your compost bin is turning as well, isn't it? Yeah. It drives this, and it also drives this, and this thing. So it's powered by the water. And there's no electricity involved, except with the thing up there. It's all the water from you turning on the tap. Which means all outside, is, it's safe, because there's no electricity. Very clever. Kids have the best inventive brains, because they have a world of possibility. They don't know what can't be done. There's an old bicycle. There's an old pulley. We've just put a new pulley on there. To be because fair, had Ryan had some help. Meet Dr Robotech. Let's get Inventon's resident mad scientist. Chris Chitty is the real deal, an inventor by trade. And he's been pretty impressed with the way Ryan wraps his head around a problem. Not stopping on the first idea, coming up with a suggestion and coming up with a number of suggestions is, is the best thing. You can pick the best of that. You must gear it down or something. Put some gears on it and then this goes slower. So he's got a little inventor's head in there, has he? Oh, yeah. yeah I don't think... I don't say little. It's quite a big inventor's head in there. Which takes us back to where we started. As a patent attorney, Anton Blagevins has just picked up his youngest client. It stood out because there's a need for it. It's self-sustaining, so it doesn't require electricity or petrol to run, so it's very, very green. And I think in today's world, green technology has is, is, is got a lot of potential for being a commercial success. I'm thinking it's amazing. You might be surprised, but maybe one, one day every household will have one. This is the Mount Everest for us. The, the show, this is probably the pinnacle of what we've achieved. We've had other kids with patents in the past over the three series, but none so young and none with such an invention that could go really far. This could go global. All this fuss doesn't sit entirely well with our youngest inventor. I was used to just being of just not noticed, where now I'm noticed. Is that good or bad? Uh, for my shyish personality, it's sort of bad, but uh, for getting it, me out of it, it's great. <laughs> If it all gets too much, of course, Ryan could just invent himself an exit strategy. I've had an idea. What kind of other inventing would you like to do? Oh, probably transport. Transport? What kind of transport? Quick transport, faster stuff. Maybe teleporting. It's going to take me about a thousand years if I try. Then I think time machines would work out that, but 
I can take like a thousand years to do that too. 